Hi, welcome back to Quinn and Paw Creations, and today I'm going to give another um, Zoom class session that we have with our beading circle, and we're going to put together a beaded keychain coin purse that I made. Um, I did the beadwork, and now we're going to attach a corresponding colored zipper with some size D Nymo beading thread, and cut a liner that from some cotton fabric. Um, usually to match you know, somewhat and uh, cut it about a quarter of an inch larger than the beadwork all the way around because so that I can fold it over and create a clean edge and so and it won't the fabric won't fray and you won't see any so I cut some cardboard out and when I glue it in I usually glue the rough side down to the bead the, to the back of the beadwork piece because the the uh, rough side sticks better to the thread and um, leave that inside open empty so that when i assemble it it will fold easy easier so yeah the rough side sticks better to the threads and the shiny side will um, stick better to the uh, liner so we're going to just glue that to the back of the beadwork um, I just find that it uh, stays in place better when you're beating that rough side I mean sorry gluing that rough side down to the back um, and the smooth side um, adheres to the cotton lining a little better than because uh, you still want to be able to move the fabric liner a little bit to get it into place the way you want it and, and make sure it's nice and smooth um, because it's going to stay where it's at well we put the edging and then we're going to just fold over that quarter inch and get that smooth edge to match up to the edge of the beadwork turn in that corner folding it in and then the, it will get that smooth side to um, be nice and clean when we put the edge in and then the zipper we're going to take and use the zipper side on start it on one end and then we're going to take it and put it all the way around and cut it the size we want. You sew up the edges of the zipper. And we're going to fit that zipper in right in where the that fold is. And then we'll put some leather over that and cover it. But before I do the edging, I'm going to baste the zipper in place and I'm going to use that space that will be left around the beadwork for the edging. I'm going to use that to uh, baste the zipper down into place. I want everything kind of assembled already so that it won't move around and won't get all in uneven when I'm putting the edging on. So just round that corner if that zipper is pretty flexible and just gonna that running stitch and it doesn't matter if you the thread show because you're you want to get it in the straight line and the edging will cover over so you won't see the um, the threads so get it to the other side and I'm going to sew that end of that zipper together and get that the right size and then um, make sure that it's the zipper lays lays right and then the whole thing is going to be even when you fold it over you're going to start when you're edging it you're going to start in the middle and go all the way around the edges the corner so once I get that zipper basted in into place 
Then I'm going to take a small piece of leather that I cut out to fit that little corner that covers up the end of the zipper so you can't see where you sewed it. Um, I guess I didn't show how to sew that zipper. You're just going to whip stitch a couple of stitches around the end of that cut zipper that just holds it in. And then this leather piece will cover that up. So I'm going to sew that zipper into place and then I'm going to baste it across and attach that leather to the zipper and my stitches on the outside are going to be real small so that they'll embed into the leather and you won't see them so make them kind of small and then and then on the back side is a, the stitches are a little bigger to get across um, I forgot to um, put the loop in by the keychain so I'm going to have to cut this up a little bit and replace it we have to put my loop my keychain loop in there I'm going to slide that open that pull that leather forward and slide that inside in between the beadwork and that leather piece I'll poke it in there and get it where I want it to be. I kind of forgot it needed to be there. And then, so once I get it where I want it, then I'm going to just make sure it's in the spot I want it to be. And just base that it's a little tougher because you're now sewing down a little bit a lot more layers but just base stitch that loop in to the and just make sure it's nice and secure and you're getting it attached in between on both sides and once that's done you have it all assembled uh, make sure your zipper is opening and closing easy and it's all it looks good once it's all assembled then you're ready to put the um, edging on so it's all assembled and put into place so when you start your edging you're going to start in the middle as I said on the top and you're going to get as close to you can as you can to the edge of your outline of the bead mark this is another good reason to outline your piece so that you have that foundation and you put enough beads on to see if you can get it over you want it to just get over that basting line that you made so that you can't see it so and then come through and make sure you're gonna you're gonna be a half a bead over half a bead space over so you can get those lines to be as close and snug as possible so they're they'll set real snug together and and won't come loose and wear out too soon so and put on another row of beads and make sure you're just getting that nice and snug and then that's what you're gonna do all the way around the edge and that is the beaded coin purse keychain that we made in our Zoom session. And so I hope you enjoyed the video and it was nice to have you back and come and join our beading circle. So where we have our 
Beating Circle Sessions or visit my website at www.quinamawpawcreations.com. Thanks for stopping by.